the economy itself, uh, first of all, in Star Citizen is completely dynamic. So the player's actions are going to be affecting the supply and demand and the prices. So a lot of the missions that are generated for players to take or even AI to go and do are created by the economy system itself. To give you an example, you know, if you have a weapons factory sitting on a planet and it requires three tons of metal alloy and one ton of high explosive and one ton of electronics to create 20 missiles in a game turn. That factory will create a mission uh, out on the mission boards which will have like in a system and that will propagate to other systems at sort of the speed of communication in the Star Citizen universe. And it will say, hey, you know, look, I need three tons of uh, steel alloy, one ton of high explosive, one ton of electronics, and uh, who wants to take them? And so in that case, a player could look at the mission board and go, oh, look, there's a mission to take three tons. Okay, I'll take it and fly in with the alloy. And if the player doesn't do it, an AI will take it and fly the stuff in. And along the way, if that player or the AI get attacked by a pirate and they don't make it through, then the goods aren't getting to the factory. The factory doesn't have the materials it needs to make the missiles, so it can't produce missiles that turn. Now, if people are buying missiles in that system, the inventory on the show floor will dwindle and they won't have any more missiles, which will mean the supply's low, so the, you know, the demand's high, prices will probably go up. Now, that factory will probably say, yeah, this pirate, I have a pirate problem on my, uh, you know, getting my raw materials, so it will create a mission with the mercenaries guild and says, I need you, or to go and clear out the pirates that are attacking this stuff, or I need you to be an escort ship escorting these allies in. So that creates missions for mercenaries there. So a player's actions as a pirate or as a trader could affect what's happening in the economy. You know, the pirates could be strangling supply to planets or other people could be blockading it. And then if supplies aren't getting through, that planet will be creating missions to get supplies or get people to open the blockade. So basically the economy itself is generating a lot of the action and, and the missions are going on. And by the way, in that combat that you're having, like the pirate that is attacking the merchant ship, well, missiles are getting fired, ships are getting blown up. Well, that's demand on the economy side. So, you know, that means that more missiles will have to be replenished or a ship has to be replenished. So there's factory nodes on planets making the ships. And so it all is kind of balanced. Hopefully from that, you can sort of see how the economy and the fact that it's dynamic is generating missions for other players, or generating missions for AI, is creating supply and demand and consumption and production. Yeah.